Hi everyone, I've missed all of you so much and I wanted to share a fun quick idea with you. It's featuring Layered with Kindness stamp set and it's a bundle that is bundled with the Label Me Fancy Punch and the Label Me Lovely Punches. These items can be found in your catalog on page 41 of the Occasions Mini Catalog. They are also retiring, so if you love this set as much as I do, you want to grab it before it runs out. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with your foil edged envelopes. And we want to give it a little trim. We're going to take just an eighth of an inch off each of the sides. So on your cutter, the card measures five and a half inches. And you'll just want to move it an eighth of an inch over. Just That's just a little bit over. So here's where the card measures. And just going to move it down to the next large line down. And just give it a little trim on all four sides. Using your paper cutter, I'm going to rotate it. And the card starts off at four and a quarter, so I'm just going to go at four and an eighth inch. Give it a nice press. And this is a thicker end, so you want to cut it twice. Remove it. Rotate it again. Your finished card should measure five and a quarter inches. So you're just going to cut and remove. And last one should end up. So your final card should measure five and a quarter by four inches. What we're going to do is we're going to set that aside and stamp the focal image. Here are the card measurements. We're going to take that Whisper White card stock, that's going to be three and three quarters by five inches long, to do our focal image. We're going to start with the leafy image in soft sea foam. Just tap, tap, tap. And notice, of course, you always ask yourself foam or no foam. So this stamp has foam, so we don't need the gray mat. We're going to tap, 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 and we're going to stamp the first image in the corner, and then without re-inking, just a little bit more, and then again, stamp off this first time, and we want some lighter ones on the edge. So when you're done, you have images that look like this. You're going to do the same thing on the opposite corner. So I'm just going to put the first one, and then without re-inking, turn this one slightly, and then again, this one slightly. So when you're all done, you have an image that looks like this. Now we're going to add some pretty flowers to it. The flower is also part of that set. We're starting with Gorgeous Grape. I love this color, but it's a little intense at its first stamping, so I'm going to stamp off the first one. And we're going to just stamp one here. And without re-inking, one more on the edge, so it looks like that. And then I'm going to rotate it. And this time, stamp off again. There's your first one, and there's your second image. So it looks like that. We're gonna wash off that flower. We're gonna add a balmy blue next. This one is fine to use, full strength. So I'm gonna first of all stamp here, and then rotate and stamp another one there. Looks like that. Lastly, I want to add a little fun yellow to it. I'm using daffodil this time. I'm going to put one here, rotate, and then maybe one on the edge there. Rotate it to the other side, tap, tap, tap. One there and one there. So that's daffodil delight. I want to add fun yellow to it. I'm using daffodil this time. I'm going to put one here, rotate, and then maybe one on the edge there. 
rotate it to the other side, tap, 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 one there and one there. So that's Daffodil Delight. I want to add a fun little accent using a small a little stamp from the set. It's a little flower. And we're going to do that one in Melon Mambo stamped off again because I want a lighter pink. So we're going to tap, 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 stamp off, and then I'm just going to put one inside there and maybe one here and maybe even one there. You notice I did all three with just one inking. Same thing, I'm gonna tap, tap, tap to do the other edge. Stamp off the first image because it's going to be dark. And I'm gonna do one maybe up here, one inside and maybe one over there. And it looks like that. All right, now we're gonna do something fun. We're gonna use the Scripty embossing folder. And this is one of those beautiful 3D ones. So all we're going to do, you notice here's a little tip. I actually write the sandwich on there that you need to do it. So it says use black line as the guide and there's no bottom plate, just a purple plate on top. You're going to place your image inside the folder and you can line it up using the side edges. And when you go to layer it on your Big Shot, you're going to do tab one, place it on the one, this is tab one, and then you'll just need your blue embossing folder on top, or the, it's a blue or purple plate. And you're just going to send it through. When you're done, you end up with a beautiful image that looks like this, and you notice you have that subtle embossing on the background. And we're going to set that aside. Next, we're going to work on the words. There are some lovely words in this set as well. We're going to use the thank you for your kindness. We're going to stamp these items on a scrap of balmy blue. There's a beautiful background image, so I'm going to use, I know it says happy birthday, but we're gonna tap, tap, tap using Pacific Point, stamping on balmy blue. It looks like this when you're done. And you're just going to use the punch. Lining it up inside there and give it a good punch out. We're also going to take the other set of words, the thank you for your kindness. This time we're gonna use the Pacific Point on a white scrap, like so. And you'll simply use this punch and punch it out. It's when you layer the two together, they look like this. And we're going to set it on top of our image. But first we want a fun accent. So we want to take a strip of silver foil cardstock. And I'm going to cheat a little bit. You know, you all know how to banner cut something. But check this out. I'm going to just put a little dot at the center end of each of these ends of this piece. And I'm going to use my banner punch. Placing and sliding that piece in there, I can put the point of the banner punch in there and then give it a little punch. And same thing on the other side, I slide. It looks like this from the front. I'm just gonna slide it from the back side so I can see where my little cheat sheet is, the dot that I made. And when you're done, you have a perfectly punched banner punch on both ends. Now all that's left is a little layering. And we're gonna just tape this on top. Tape the silver piece on top. The focal image will be popped off with dimensionals. And then we're going back to that cardstock, the 
beautiful foil edge that we used. And we're simply going to tape that to the front. So you have an image that looks like this. And then to do the inside piece, we want to give a little accent on the inside as well. So we're going to go back, get that green, and maybe a little touch there. Stamp off, maybe a little touch on this side. So again, we're just going to uh, mimic the image we did before. This time I'm going to use Embalmy Blue. Maybe one there and one there. I love the little pink accent, so we're still going to use that in there as well. Take your balmy blue cardstock, fold it in half. And when you layer it all together, this goes on the inside. So you have a beautiful centered card. You close it and your outside will look like this. So here we've used the silver foil lined card to give it a beautiful accent. And then we want to embellish it a little bit. So I'm going to use our Noble Peacock rhinestones, which are just gorgeous. I'm going to use the Take Your Pick tool to scoop them off. And this just adds a little bling to it. I think I'm going to go ahead and use some of the blue ones. So you just scoop it up. And I just place them without putting them down just yet, without pressing them all the way down. And with all rhinestones, what I like to do is I like to give it a little press before I scoop them up. So I'm going to scoop that up. Let's place another one down there. And then I'm going to grab maybe to pull out uh, some of the greens and yellows, this really pretty one here. I'll put this one up at the top to add a little pizzazz and bling. So let's see if we're happy with that. Let's see, let's place that there. I like that. And the last thing we're going to do is take our Wink of Stella, if you, someone you like enough. And what we're going to do is just color in, give it a little wink on the flowers to give them a little accent. And pizzazz. And there you have it, layered with kindness. Now this card looks great also if you decide to do a purple version. So this time I'm going to just pick one of the colors and I'm using the Highland Heather on top. And it looks pretty good even on top of the Highland Heather. Now this is such a great set. It also has a versatile happy birthday inside. So if you decide to do a happy birthday version of this, it might look something like this. And when you open it up, I decided to pull in two other stamp sets, awesome at any age from Itty Bitty Birthdays. And celebrating another year comes from Well Said. It has a wonderful um, set of greetings and inside words all together. So, hope you enjoyed these fun ideas. That's Layered with Kindness. Enjoy.